Hello, I'd like to offer some thoughts as part of our Holy Week meditations. And today I'd like to show you a labyrinth. This labyrinth was created by Peter Privet and its embroidery on a silk background. And some words on labyrinth from Pilgrim Paths. Labyrinths are ancient pathways found across the world. The winding path helps us to unwind, to let go and rest in God. Members of the early church, as well as medieval pilgrims, have used them as a support for prayer. A labyrinth is different from a maze. A maze is full of dead ends and designed to get you lost. A labyrinth has only one path that always leads to the centre. If you stay on the path, you cannot get lost. There is no right or wrong way to walk a labyrinth. No set pace. Just follow the path in your own time. And we have here a finger labyrinth, something to be used for prayerful reflection when it is not possible to walk a full-size labyrinth. And there are many ways to make your own finger labyrinths. Your labyrinth prayer time can be as open or as focused as you would like it to be. You might want to simply enter the labyrinth and walk with the Lord. Or perhaps before you enter the labyrinth, you might like to take time to read and reflect on a line or two from scripture. Hold a memory or a photo of a loved one you wish to remember or pray for. Consider an experience in your life where you are seeking healing or forgiveness. Or perhaps think about a key celebration in your life and offer your time in the labyrinth as a prayer of thanksgiving. Today in Holy Week, I'd like to begin with a verse of scripture from this morning's readings. From Lamentations chapter one. How lonely sits the city that once was full of people. A prayer for settling. Almighty God, I am always in your presence. You are my companion on my path. Your words are a light that guides my feet and your spirit feeds my soul. May I always hear your voice and love and serve you all the days of my life. Through Jesus Christ, your son, my Lord and brother. Amen.
the time to rest at the centre. For me today, a time for thoughts about this situation we find ourselves in. A time for prayer and reflection, receiving God's love and blessing. And then as one ready to return, I make my way out of the labyrinth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. As a response to the time of prayer, if you keep a journal, you may like to creatively write or draw some words, symbols or phrases to acknowledge and remember this time of reflection. Peace be with you all. Amen. <laughs>